Hi guys, my name is Shaim from the Edge Plant. Hello my dear friends and welcome back to the Edge Plants, a place for every plant lover. Today we are in a greenhouse. Today in this video we want to talk about the strawberry planting. We are in a strawberry greenhouse and uh, I want to talk about the process of planting strawberries. So stay with me until the end of this video. Wow, Shine, could you imagine that this place be this cool? You know, really before I coming here, I thought here it will be hot, but it's really chilly and I'm a little yes. cold, yeah? Yes. Isn't that? I don't know. Okay, guys, what's your imagination of a greenhouse? Do you think it's a warm and humid place? You no, know, before I came here, I thought here it will be too hot, but really here is a, a little chilly and cool and, you know, my nose is cold. And you know, because it's summer, in summer, uh, strawberry needs a little cool weather. So stay with us to learn the step-by-step -step process of producing strawberries. We will teach you everything you need to know about planting a strawberry. So stay with us. This is cooling pad. What cold water actually enters to this pad and circulates inside this pan and eventually uh, gives cold air. In the other side of this greenhouse, there are few fans. Actually, you can see there. Uh, that that fans pulls the cold air from here, and this causes uh, cool air circulates and uh, flow around the uh, greenhouse and uh, makes everywhere cool. So a strawberry really needs cool weather and this cooling system increases the strawberry growth. My friend talked about the cooling system that is used here. But if you wonder what is this device is here, I should say that it's a heating device. The strawberry needs an average temperature ranging from 50 to 75. In the winter when the temperature drops, they use these heating devices to keep the temperature average. Uh, during the day, the temperature that is needed for a strawberry is 50 degrees and during the night uh, when it is a bit cooler around here the temperature should get around 75 to keep these strawberries in a minimum and average temperature. Hey guys, I asked a question uh, from farmers of here about the strawberry planting process and when they harvest, when they plant the uh, seeds. Uh, actually, uh, planting seeds uh, depends uh, to the weather and the season and the country or city uh, farmers are in. For example, in here, uh, most of the farmers start uh, planting their seeds uh, about in middle of summer, middle of uh, actually autumn, and uh, it takes about four, uh, four or five months uh, to start uh, harvesting. And when they start harvesting, uh, actually harvesting takes about one year it means when you uh, cut off the strawberry from the plant uh, about uh, 10 days after that again the strawberry grows and this process uh, happens frequently for one year and actually you can harvest it for one year and you don't need to uh, plant uh, the strawberry again and again just you do it once and you harvest for one uh, one year and i think you will give really rich if you plant the strawberry in this greenhouse, hydroponic is, as you can see here, is a method that instead of using traditional, traditionally, instead of using soil, they use water-based uh, nutrient solute that are rich in different elements. Uh, they add perlite and cocoa peat inside, inside of these bags. And in these methods, these plants will grow faster and the quality of the plants will enhance. Hydroponic method is, is usually used for plants such as strawberries, tomatoes, and cucumbers. And you can use these methods even in the middle of the streets. It requires minimum watering and through creating uh, some greenhouse shape uh, environment, you can plant it everywhere with the best quality. If you are wondering how these plants receive necessary elements to grow, I should say that so as you see in this, uh, at, in the hydroponic methods, macro and micro elements 
are dissolved in the water and in a water slope situations they are carried into these uh, hydroponic environments and plants will receive necessary elements guys look at here i found something strange the ground is full of uh, such a stones i asked uh, why you have used uh, this amount of stones on ground and it has a reason here is too cold and humidity is uh, humidity level is really too much and they should decrease this level because of that they use these stones the stones actually decrease humidity level and you know strawberry doesn't need too much humidity humidity level of strawberry is a specific amount it shouldn't be too much or too uh, low the strawberry is a short day plant it means that this plant requires minimum light in case that this plant receives too much light the attention of this plant and the energy will be focused on growing stem and leaves and not flowering if you keep the light low and eventually the temperature low this plant will start flowering and these flowers will turn into strawberries Okay guys, this side of greenhouse is warmer than that side. Temperature is really different because of the cooling pad uh, is that side. Uh, that side is cooler, but here is warmer. And if you uh, let me tell, uh, talk about uh, one point. If you look at the leaves, uh, some strawberries leaves are yellow and some of them are green. It's because of them when the strawberry leaves is green, it means it's young and it has given uh, low it has given low fruit in comparison of the strawberries which their leaves are yellow uh, when the leaves are yellow it means that strawberry plant has given too much uh, fruit and it gives most of its energy uh, to giving uh, to give fruit but when the leaves are green it means the plant uh, has given has spent most of its energy uh, for their leaves to make them uh, green and has not spent that energy for giving uh, fruit. Uh, look at this pipe. Its name is Gotter. Actually, <laughs> when I say Gotter, uh, it makes me laugh. Its name is a little strange. And this is for a second floor. You know, this is first floor and this is structure uh, is for implementing for a second floor and they have not built it yet. And they say it takes about two or three months to uh, build the second floor. Okay guys, in this video we came to green, strawberry greenhouse and we tried to talk about the strawberry planting and harvesting and its uh, growing up process. We hope to enjoy this video. If you have any question, please let us know so that our experts will answer them. And don't forget to subscribe. Have a good day. Bye bye.